This man is a real force. Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude. Revamped appearance. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. Here comes the commish. Shane O'Mac. I wonder whose life and career Shane's here to make miserable tonight. Oh, don't start, Corey. Commissioner Hothead is out of his mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They don't want anything to do with Shane O'Mac anymore because he's such an egomaniac. And here... Guys, I was still competing in NXT when The Shield was running roughshod. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and this man, Roman Reigns. And we knew the future was bright, but no one quite expected Reigns to have the impact on the WWE Universe that he has since the NXT days. One of the most competent men in WWE today. You can feel the aura of the arena change the minute the opening notes of his song hit. Roman Reigns changes the feeling in the building. It's all about his yard, plain and simple. But there's one guarantee, whenever Roman Reigns enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion within the WWE Universe. It's all about his yard. Go ahead, Corey, tell us all about The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B Show to V Show. A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be hopeful for 
consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? A That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Mizzy. You guys are weird. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. Man, all the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Oh. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. What's your strategy to take down the big dog? Well, thankfully, I'm here next to you, Michael, and not in the ring with Reigns. But to answer your question, I would try to catch him by surprise. It definitely worked for Sheamus at Survivor Series in 2015. Byron brought up Sheamus' victory over Roman Reigns in Survivor Series. But to be fair, we should point out that match happened because Sheamus cashed in his Money in the Bank contract. Hey, that strategy worked for Seth Rollins at WrestleMania just a few months earlier. But Brock Lesnar showed you can surprise Reigns in the middle of a match. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Drop kick. Beautiful. Inching closer to it, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Neverbreaker! Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Ooh, nasty impact. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and aftershock DDT. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, no, I don't mess up your neck, man. Elbow drop. Piercing. Elbow drop. Big time. You've got to believe this one's over. Wow. Elbow. Oh. Beautiful. 
beautiful technique. What a stomp. Good grief. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The Not now. Not now. Oh, no. Oh, it is no time for... Looking a little stunned here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take Ouch. the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. There was a lot on the line in the tag. Shane looking to finish. Shane O'Malley! Oh my God! Oh, it's over. Not a lot of superstars can pull off a move like that. Authority. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kobe Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. Caught him with a big boot on the mark. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while Chapter, we got a cover. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, a kick out. Drew McIntyre has chosen to kick out here. See what I did? What's this? Pitching up Gucci oh. Absolutely planted. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. This might be it. Oh, my. There's no doubt Roman Reigns has a long career in front of him. But, guys, if he chose to hang him up today, I'd say he's a surefire Hall of Famer. Focusing Roman Reigns. Superman punch! Good night! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? My goodness, that connected. Slam! If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first...